Hey, Malika, can you just kind of describe maybe what the last 24 hours has been like, the wait, and maybe what you feel about your landing spot in Tennessee? Hey, I'm just blessed to have somewhere to go, somewhere to call home. Uh, I'm appreciative of the opportunity to play at the next level. I'm just ready to go in and work hard and just try to be the best teammate I can be. What kind of interactions did you have with the Titans, Malik, that, that made it feel like this might be the spot for you? Uh, I think uh, all the times that I met with the team, it's been really good. I feel like we've it's been really cohesive and we uh, got to know each other a little better. I know it's uh, kind of hard to do that during the draft process uh, due to just sh a short amount of time. But uh, I really think we clicked uh, at the combine and, uh, you know, after my pro day and every time we got a chance to meet. So I'm, I'm definitely grateful. You know about Ryan Tannehill and what do you imagine it'll be like getting to know him and kind of hashing out roles and everything? Hey, man, I, I'm just, like I said, I want to be the best teammate I can be. I want to come in and try to learn, you know, as much as I can from them, learn the offense and just keep getting better every day and just so I could, you know, help the team in any way that, that uh, you know, they ask me to. What do you feel like your strengths are right now, Malik, as a quarterback? And, and what do you hope to, you know, improve upon when you get to the to the NFL level here? Uh, I feel like uh, I have lots of strengths and uh, I have some weaknesses as well. And I just want to continue to improve and get better uh, so I can just, you know, play to my highest level. Malik, I know it hadn't been long since you got picked. Have you heard from any of your new teammates yet? Not as of yet, but I hadn't I hadn't got a chance to look at my phone. So uh, it's a little hectic right now. But I'm, I'm appreciative if they reach out and uh, I'll be glad. I know, like I met Traylon at the Combine, so I, I guess I'll get, get in touch with him. Mike Vrabel has said that mobility is a big thing for quarterbacks uh, because of how things are now. Is that something that you guys got to talk about? Did he bring that up, like how you bring that to the table? Uh, we didn't get to talk much about that as of yet. Uh, we've just been talking about, you know, me being a Titan and me being just super grateful and super blessed to be in this position. Did you stay in Vegas and, and, and what was it like not – getting picked until maybe later in the third round, just what was your patience level like for you, just keeping the faith? Oh, man, I, I have faith, man. I have faith that God's going to put me wherever he needs me to go. So I just have to understand that I don't run things down here, and uh, he does, So and he has a plan for me. So I'm just appreciative that he put me somewhere uh, where I feel like I can go and, you know, just get better. What do you think will allow you to be able to absorb an NFL playbook and process and, and do the things that you'll be asked to do as a quarterback? I feel like just being taught. I mean, I learned the college playbook before I got to college. Well, or when I got to college. Uh, so I feel like I can learn the NFL playbook whenever I get to the NFL. Uh, it's just about me uh, putting in the time and effort more than anything. What, what do you feel like uh, as far as your ability and what you bring to a locker room? What do you think you bring to an NFL team? What, what's the team getting in Malik Willis? Against somebody that loves the game and that loves his teammates. I mean, I just want to be the best guy I can be, uh, helping everybody get better as well as myself. And I just want everybody to be the best they can be. And I feel like when you care about your teammates, that makes it a lot easier. Imagine it'll be difficult to be patient. Uh, patient in what regard? In terms of maybe getting a chance to be on the field again. Oh, I mean, understanding that, it, it comes with it. I mean, Ryan Tannehill is a great player, and he's a great leader for this organization. So uh, I just want to come in and, you know, just do all I can in order to get better at my craft. And whenever that time comes for me to get on the field, then that time will come. But until then, I'm just going to try to learn and be the best teammate I can be. Where are you now, Malik, and what was the celebration like when you were picked? I'm in Las Vegas right now, bowling alley. Uh, we, had, we had, like, ran out this bowling alley, so we didn't have to go back to the green room. Because I didn't have another suit. <laughs> How many people in your in your party? It's like a hundred people here. What What was it like when when you got the call? It was definitely surreal. Uh, I, I'm just appreciative that somebody you know you know took a shot on me, so I can you know just be grateful and thankful, and just want to keep getting better at what I'm doing and learn as much as I can. Well, Lee, how difficult has the last 24 hours been? Sir. Sure. How difficult has the last 24 hours been for you? I mean, it hasn't really been difficult because at the end of the day, when you don't have control over something, it's not something you can really get mad at or it can't really be hard on you if you don't have control. I mean, all, all I can control is, you know, answering the phone whenever somebody feels like they have uh, 
you know, opportunity for me. So I'm just grateful to be here and I'm grateful to be, you know, a Tennessee Titan. Does that, you know, dropping like that, does it put any chip on your shoulder? I mean, I always have a chip on my shoulder. I mean, I don't think that draft can put any more of a chip on my shoulder. Like it's, you know, it's cool. It is what it is. And God put me here for a reason. So I'm not going to question it. And I'm not going to try to, you know, be mad at anybody else for, you know, being where I am because a lot of people wish they could be where I am. So I'm just grateful for the opportunity, man. Nice. Anyone else? What did what, you do today to kind of kill the time and wait for the night? <laughs> uh, really, I just laid around and my parents and stuff went to the mall and we had came bowling. That's what we're trying to do. We're just trying to keep our mind off of it because, like, like I said, you don't have any control. I just try to keep my uh, my ringer on nice and loud. Did, did you bowl a few uh, bowl a few rounds? Not yet. I'm about to now. I said I wasn't going to bowl in me until I got drafted. And that took a while, but it's, <laughs> it got to happen, and I'm grateful for it. Do you think there's any limitations to what you could do system-wise or a uh, team's going to get anything out of you that it could get out of anybody? Yeah, I mean, all it takes is somebody being able to teach me. Um, I don't have to go learn the playbook just like anybody else. I mean, there's no, you know, way I don't feel comfortable learning it. I mean, from what they taught me during the pre-draft process, and I feel like I retain that information pretty well, and I had an understanding of it. So it's just me going and putting it into work every day. Uh, outside of Mike Vrabel, Malik, who, who else on the Titans coaching staff did you meet with and have the opportunity to talk to? Well, I talked with a few of them after the uh, – after pro day, and I talked with uh, Coach Raywood when they called me, and the GM and the owner as well. That's all. I think we're all done in here, Kim. If you want to. Yep, we just got two more. Uh, Kayla Anderson. Hey, Malik, how you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good, good. So your uncle, James Anderson, played 11 seasons in the NFL. I know he was on the other side of the ball as a defensive. Uh, linebacker, but uh, I don't know if you know this. He was also picked in the third round. He was the 88th overall pick. Kind of crazy how similar that is. But ha was he there tonight? And have you picked his brain on what yeah, it was. takes to be a pro? He was here, uh, and he just let me know that it doesn't matter where you get picked. It's about the work you put in. It's about what you do every day and how much how good of a teammate you are and how many people want to follow behind you. Uh, so he just let me know that. He just left for the airport. He's got to go home. But uh, – he, let, he definitely instilled some some nuggets that I need to, in order to go to this next level. Terry. Malik, you're obviously a dual threat quarterback, and that's kind of become much more in vogue over the past few years. Are there any guys in the league that maybe a Lamar Jackson or Kyler Murray, Marcus Mariota, that maybe that you kind of modeled your game after as, as you were learning to play the position? I mean, I try to, you know, learn something from everybody. Uh, there's a lot of great players all over the place, and I'm just appreciative to being the one where I get to go try to, you know, be more like those guys. And, you know, it's just taking little pieces like Russell Wilson's deep ball, like, you know, Tom Brady's anticipation and anticipation and check downs. Uh, Lamar Jackson, his elusiveness is just understanding what they add and uh, how you can add that to your game.